Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 4. Learning about the Immigration Loans Program and the Airport. The following dialogue is related to Unit 2, Travel, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 2.2. Your Journey 2.3. Your Travel to Canada 2.4. Immigration Loan 2.13. At the Airport 2.14. Tools at the Airport. 2.15. Information on Boarding Pass. 2.19. Who can help you? In this dialogue, Sadia meets Ali at the Canadian Orientation Abroad session. An IOM Movement Operations staff member gives advice on the flight journey, including arriving at the airport, how to find things in the airport, and what to expect inside an airplane. The IOM Movement Operations staff member, Sadia, Ali, and other refugees are in the Canadian Orientation Abroad room. A childminder takes the children to a childminding room until the session is over. The staff member tells the session attendees they can talk amongst themselves for a few minutes before the session begins. Hello, Ali. Nice to see you again. Hi, Sadia. Do you know what today's session is about? An IOM, Movement Operations staff, will tell us about what happens at the airport. Oh, good. I am traveling alone, and I am going to Montreal, Quebec, where people will mainly speak in French. I do not speak French, and I have never been to an airport. I am nervous about the trip. I understand. I am going to Winnipeg, Manitoba. I am a little nervous, but this session will be helpful. You are right. Thank you. The IOM Movement Operations staff member enters the orientation room. Hello, I am a Movement Operations staff member at IOM. Today, we will go over everything you need to know for your trip from the airport to your new home in Canada. I have some questions. Who pays for the flight tickets? I do not have enough money with me. I will make sure to answer all of your questions. Right now, let us start by going over your immigration loan. Through the immigration loan, the Government of Canada pays the cost of your travel to Canada on your behalf. You are expected to repay this loan. Generally, the immigration loan covers the transportation fees from the point of departure to your final destination in Canada. So the Government of Canada pays for it, but I will have to repay the government later? Exactly. You are expected to begin to repay this loan one year after your arrival in Canada. The loan is interest-free. Prior to your departure, you will be asked to sign your loan document. This document is for a loan given to you by the Government of Canada's Immigration Loans Program. It is good that I will have one year to settle down and find a job so I can start repaying the loan. How do I make loan payments? You will receive a statement from the government telling you when you need to start paying the loan, how to pay, and how long it will take. If you have difficulties repaying the loan, you must inform the Government of Canada. Arrangements can be made to reduce the amount of your monthly payments, if required. If you have any questions about your immigration loan, call 1-800-667-6600. Or email collection at cic.gc.ca. Can you repeat that? I am writing it down. Yes, of course. One eight zero zero six six seven seven three zero one. And what is the email address again? C O L 
L E C T I O N at C I C dot G C dot C A. Thank you. This information is also in your Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook in Section 2.4. Oh, good. Now that you know how your trip will be paid for, I will explain how you will get to Canada, starting with your time at the airport. Have any of you been on an airplane before? No, I have not. Yes, I have. It is perfectly okay that some of you have not traveled by airplane before. IOM, or a company hired by IOM, will help you with most of your travel to Canada, but not at every step, so it is important to know the process in advance. It was confusing when I was at the airport. There are many procedures to go through at airports on your way to your new home in Canada. You will find there are various steps to complete before, during, and after your journey. You may need to go through these steps more than once, especially if you are taking connecting flights through multiple airports on your way to Canada. When I get to the airport, what do I do first? When you first arrive at the airport, meet with an IOM operations staff member and get your IOM bag. Yes, I heard this bag is very important. That is right. Carry the bag with you at all times during your journey and keep it safe and visible. Noted. What do we do next? Next, see if there are baggage carts available. You can load your heavy baggage onto a cart. This will help you move with your baggage inside the airport. Where do we take the baggage? You will go to the airline check-in counter. There, you will get your boarding passes and baggage registration tags. Boarding passes and registration tags. Correct. After you get your boarding passes, your baggage will be weighed and tagged. You will leave your checked baggage with the airline staff. They will make sure it gets loaded onto the plane. What is a boarding pass? A boarding pass is a document that shows you have permission to board the airplane for a specific flight. The airline staff member at the check-in counter will give a boarding pass to each passenger. You will need to show your boarding passes often. It is a good idea to keep these documents in a safe place and do not lose them. Why would I need to show it often? I am only going to Montreal. You may have to take multiple flights, sometimes even within Canada itself. In this case, you may receive multiple boarding passes, one for each connecting flight. You should know what airports you will be stopping at along the way to your final destination. So keep your boarding passes in a safe place. Do not lose them. What information is on the boarding pass? Each boarding pass will have the names of the departure and destination airports, the number of the airport gate or terminal, and your seat number on the flight. Will our names be on our boarding passes? Yes. Each boarding pass will have the passenger's name, the date of your flight, the boarding time, and the time your flight will depart. I see. I will have to read it carefully and keep the information in mind, too. Yes, good idea. After you hand over your larger baggage, or checked baggage, at the airline check-in counter, you will need to walk to the security checkpoint. Security checkpoint? Yes. At the security checkpoint, you will have to follow instructions from the airport security officers. They will be looking for dangerous items in your baggage and on you. You and your baggage will need to pass through a scanner. An officer may search you to check for dangerous items. You may be asked to open your baggage for an additional check. Will they ask questions about items in my baggage too? Yes, they may. You may have to answer questions about the items you are bringing on the plane. Airport security officers are just trying to make sure everyone on the flight is safe. So please listen to their instructions. I remember I had to pass through a scanner. Good memory. 
you and your baggage may have to pass through a scanner at the airport entrance, too. I see. What is the next step? After passing through security, you will go to an immigration checkpoint. This procedure is for entering and exiting a country. Here, you will show the documents in your IOM bag to a government official. Then, you will walk to your gate. How will you know where your gate is? The gate information is on my boarding pass. That is correct. Check your boarding pass to see the number of your departure gate. If you get lost or get separated from others you are traveling with, or you cannot find the departure gate, ask any staff wearing an airport uniform. They will be happy to help. After I get to the departure gate, what do I do? Once at your departure gate, listen carefully for any announcements. In the unlikely event of an emergency, talk to one of the airport staff members. I remember. Some airports are so big, it took more than 30 minutes to walk to my departure gate. That is true. Some airports are very large. But in some airports, there are moving walkways, automatic stairs, and elevators, which help you walk through the airport. Moving walkways help you walk long distances faster, while automatic stairs and elevators help you when you need to move from one level of the airport to another. Elevators are very useful when you need to move between different levels and have disabilities or if you have a baggage cart. That sounds convenient. When you are at the airport, it is good to look for direction signs. The signs will help point to where you want to go. You can find signs for restrooms, airline check-in counters, boarding gates, and other important parts of the airport. While you look out for signs, you may also find information monitors. These are large screens that show the time and gate information on when and where flights arrive and depart. I have a friend who has a visual impairment and cannot see well. What would they do? If a person is concerned that they cannot travel on their own, they need to let IOM know. IOM can arrange escort assistance. Escorts help people who need assistance at ticketing counters, to get to their gates, and with claiming their baggage. Airports also make important announcements on the airport intercom, so make sure to listen for these announcements. The airport felt confusing at first, but once I settled down and looked around, I found the signs easy to understand, and the airport staff were very nice. If you follow all of these instructions, you should have a safe journey to Canada. Have a good trip. Thank you. That was very helpful. I feel so relieved now. Oh, good. See you in the next session. See you then. End of Dialogue Unit